My name is Laura Kruger and I'm a physical therapist here in the White Bear Lake School District. I'm really excited for you to meet one of our students here at Central Middle School. Her name is Amber and to me she is a wonderful success story of how incorporating a standing program into her school program has made a tremendous impact on her everyday life and mobility. Um, when Amber started here at, at Central, she um, was going through a, a huge growth spurt, which is very typical during these middle school years. And as that happened, she was getting more and more tightness in her knees and in her hamstrings. And so what happened was she tended to want to use her wheelchair a little bit more to get around because it was just more difficult as she was losing mobility to be up walking with her crutches. And so we worked on that. We had to continually change her program as she was growing and as this was happening and, and look at how we can continue to keep her walking, how we can um, have her use her wheelchair because um, you'll see in the, as we go through the school, it's huge. And to be walking, going from an elementary school to a middle school often is a huge transition for kids because of the location of going from one class to another. There's just much more walking that's required once you get into the middle and high schools. And so that, in addition to this growth spurt that she was having, we found that she was using her wheelchair more, which isn't a common, you know, that just makes sense. But as we looked at it, we saw she was using her wheelchair more. She definitely wasn't walking as much and she was getting tighter. So what we ended up doing that I think really made a significant impact is we incorporated a standing program right into her day. So in her study hall, when she was doing her homework and um, you know, kind of working on projects with her friends in, in, in that class, she was using the stander. And it was a consistent everyday um, thing that she was doing, in addition to some exercises and things she was doing at her, on her own as well. Um, but the stander, I think because she was getting the weight bearing and the stretch at the same time, especially for her knees, she really needed to start gradually. She started, um, she was able to transfer into the stander by herself. Then she would pump up when she went up to standing. She would always have a little bit of bend in her knees for maybe the first five to seven minutes. Then she would go up as far as she could for the remainder of the class period, which was about 50 minutes. And then the last five minutes, she would go down a little bit, just maybe five degrees, just to get kind of, kind of like a warm up. And then you have your standing and then a little warm down after, so that then when she got out of the stander, it was um, much easier for her. Because otherwise, I think if she came all the way down right away, it was almost too much of a release on that stretch. So she was really getting a great stretch in that stander in a weight-bearing position. And now, when you meet her today, you'll know that, and you'll see, she doesn't use her wheelchair at all at school. So this is two years later, year and a half later, uh, and I think the stander was really a critical component in that program to help her to increase her range of motion significantly. So now she's able to, she's increased her strength, increased her endurance, and she's walking through the entire school building um, all day long just using her crutches. So she's definitely a success story and we're, I'm very, very proud of all the work she's done.